I am so very angry. I've heard about this game for years now. Every time it was brought up, every gameplay clip I've seen, every review I've watched, I did not think about playing this game. Every game channel I followed called it, quote, the best game of all time, and I didn't understand it. Looking at gameplay clips, it just kind of looked like Doom. Which, Doom's not a bad game, not in the slightest. I just, I didn't understand the hype. I had a GameCube when I was a kid. I wore that thing out. I played countless hours of Melee, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Sunshine, Star Fox Adventures, Pikmin for fuck's sake. I even played way too much of the Jimmy Neutron game, but I never once played Metroid Prime. I have a faint memory of seeing this game on the shelves when it came out and thought, oh that's the character from Smash Bros. Sumps. That's cool, and I went about my life. Fast forward about 18 years, February 8th, 2023. I am watching the Nintendo Direct live. I see the trailer for Metroid Prime Remastered, and I still don't buy it. It shadow dropped, and I didn't buy it. I watched three or four videos about people praising this game over and over. One of the greatest games ever made. One of the best games of all time. It's simply a remaster, but let's be clear, it's a damn good one. And being very excited to play the remaster, saying that same thing best game ever made. And the channels I usually watch don't say that about any game. So I finally cave in. I buy it. So what did I think of it? I'll put it like this. Playing this game felt like I had my GameCube again. I felt like I had just got a new game for it, popped it in, and discovered something incredible. For so many years, I just knew Samus as the character from Smash Bros. I cannot believe I missed out on this game as a kid. I cannot imagine how it would have changed my taste or view on other games as well if I played it as a kid. I am angry and disappointed that I did not get to experience this game in my golden years of gaming. The nostalgia that I have for the GameCube is unmatched. Every game I played on this thing felt like a masterpiece. When you're little, every game feels awesome. If you are a kid playing a game, most of the time you're going to give it a 9 or a 10, but now that I'm an adult, I'm much more critical of games. I don't have a lot of time anymore. So when I play a game, I want it to wow me. I want to get my time and money's worth out of it. I want it to be a masterpiece. But this game, Metroid Prime, spoiler alert, it's a 10 out of 10, legitimately a masterpiece. From the moment I booted up this game, something clicked. I played through an hour of the game and wanted to play 10 more, but I've got responsibilities so I, I couldn't do that. The gameplay is so simple, yet it's so addicting. The environments are incredibly gorgeous. I forgot I was playing on a Switch half the time. I wish I had a better word to describe this world. It's abandoned, forgotten. In some parts of this game, it feels like you are the only person exploring it. The atmosphere is isolating, unsettling, yet peaceful at times. This feels like a GameCube game in the best sorts of ways. And if you hate the GameCube or if you've never played it, that's probably disappointing to hear. It has that magic of finding something new that you didn't know you would like. That rush of dopamine. I haven't had that from playing a new game in a very, very long time. Often when I play a new game, one thing that can immediately turn me off is a soundtrack. If the music is bland, poor, or not interesting, it will lead to me turning off the game and never going back. However, with Prime, the music draws you in almost immediately. I had to write this section just based on the music. It really grabbed me when the elevator music started playing. It somehow made me think, wow, this is different. And with every new song I heard, it kept adding on to that special, different feeling. Right when you land on Talon 4, that song starts playing. It makes that first impression on you. This game is special, the song says. Look around. 
As you're staring at this beautiful waterfall and world, the rain is falling down on your visor and arm cannon. Then you enter Chozo ruins. It sounds creepy and ancient. You are definitely somewhere abandoned, lost to some tragedy. You then descend into Magmore Caverns, and the music sounds hot. Like you can feel the steam coming off the soundtrack. And my personal favorite, Fendrana Drifts. Ooh, this one's my jam. It sounds so icy and beautiful. You can almost hear the icicles and snow. This soundtrack, definitely part of the top five soundtracks I've ever listened to in a video game. One of my favorite games, if you can't tell, is Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. That was the first game that I became obsessed with when I was little. I became obsessed with the characters, the world, lore, levels, music, everything. In a way, Metroid Prime brings me back to that feeling of playing Majora's Mask for the first time. You get to solve these awesome and unique puzzles as Samus. I look forward to acquiring new upgrades to your suit. I've been completely surprised by each and every upgrade I've obtained. I thought I would have known the next upgrade I got, but it turns out to be completely different than what I thought it was going to be. And that's what really pulls me in, the newness or mystery of this game. And with each upgrade you get, it reveals a new place you couldn't go to before. When you obtain certain upgrades, you realize that you can now use that upgrade to go to a new area that you passed by when exploring the world previously. And you will pass by that same area you explored a lot. And that is really my only complaint about this game, the backtracking. This is such a stupid complaint because Metroid and Metroidvania type games are known for their backtracking and running through the same areas over and over and over. Even before I bought this game, I knew there was a whole lot of backtracking. But man, sometimes it really frustrated the hell out of me. The game does give you hints if you are going the wrong way. Eventually. God, where am I supposed to go? Jeez. Oh! Oh, there's a door right here. Okay. I'll just go through here. What? No. No. You have got to be jo- Are you serious? On the opposite side of the map? I, I should be able to find something. I'm just gonna keep going. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. God damn it. Are you f***ing serious? I made it this far. Yep. I gotta go all the back. Oh my god! But that is really my only complaint about Metroid Prime. It takes a lot to make a game. A lot more than my tiny brain can fathom. I don't know how Retro Studios originally did it, but they made this amazing, fantastic, beautiful game. I could not understand why people praise this game so much. I get it now. My god, I get it. Watching gameplay does not do it justice, trust me. Actually playing the game in the moment, hearing the music, controlling Samus as she explores this deserted world filled with hostile creatures. It is simply incredible. I put down every other game I was playing to play this, Metroid Prime. I don't want to go into any other spoilers. You have to experience it for yourself. If you have the time, of course, buy this game. Try it out. I am in shock that this is a 40 dollar game from Nintendo. Not hating on Skyward Sword, but Skyward Sword was $60. I've spent a lot of money on other games that were least deserving of it. I'm so very happy that I tried this game out. Now, I'm very much looking forward to Metroid Prime 4. I finally get the reactions from that initial reveal. And if Nintendo releases Metroid Prime 2 and 3 on the Switch, whether it's remastered or just touched up. I will be there day one. I am so very angry and disappointed that I did not get to experience this as a kid. I can't imagine the nostalgia and memories that I would have from playing this game on my awesome GameCube. I'm just happy and lucky enough that I get to experience it now. Thank you for watching and bye Metroid Prime.
Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Uh, this took a lot longer to get out than I thought it would. I beat Metroid Prime a couple of weeks ago and then I uploaded the Marvel Nemesis video and that kind of blew up. I did not expect to get as many views, comments, or support in that video. I, I, I just, I can't, I can't believe it. I appreciate everybody who watched that. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be that good, but apparently a lot of people remember the game and they, they love to watch the video. So thank you for watching this one as well. Hopefully the next video will not take that long to get up. I had to build a new computer because I spilled the drink on my laptop and then I got the stomach virus and then a whole bunch of other different things happened. So hopefully the next video will come out a lot quicker. But thank you so much for the support guys and thank you again for watching this video and other videos. I hope everybody has a wonderful, fantastic, great day. Thank you.